It's been another week packed with lots of cruise news. We've got some good news. The first major cruise line has actually started sailing. But we have some bad news too, with more ships being unexpectedly being sold off. We also have big news from Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Norwegian, and much more. Well, ahoy there, there cruisers. cruisers. Welcome to this week's Cruise News Roundup, brought to you by Skillshare. We'll have more about them later. First up with Norwegian Cruise Line. They have now cancelled all October sailings. Yes, I know more bad news, meaning they are not planning now to resume cruising till all the way in November. This latest extension also covers all three of their brands, Norwegian, Oceana and Regent Seven Sea Cruises. The press release simply said, The safety, security and well-being of our guests, crew and communities we visit is our number one priority. We will continue to closely monitor the situation in the global health environment, so we have extended our voluntary temporary suspension of voyages through October 2020. In other Norwegian news, they have updated their peace of mind cancellation policy. Cruises departing next year between January and October, if booked, can now be cancelled up to 15 days before you depart. This has been done to give you a little bit of extra confidence when you're booking a cruise in 2021. It's a great move from Norwegian, so it means if you do decide to book a cruise in 2021 and cancel it, you'll be given a future cruise credit which now can be applied to any sailing all the way up to December 31st, 2022. The policy also allows guests to cancel 48 hours before embarkation if you booked a 2020 departure. So that's some good news from Norwegian, giving you that little bit of extra flexibility. Next up, news from Royal Caribbean. Well, rumours first, because there's rumours that the Empress of the Seas is going to be scrapped. She has left the UK and is now heading for Malta, where she is expected to destore and remove all equipment on board before heading to Turkey to be scrapped. It's very sad news. We are losing so many fantastic cruise ships to the virus. Many of these are really fan favourites as well. So if you've sailed on Empress of the Seas, let us know your thoughts and memories in the comments below. Yeah, it's heartbreaking to lose more ships. Royal Caribbean have also said that they have no new announcements to make following Norwegian Cruise Line's new cruise cancellations. Royal Caribbean CEO Michael Bailey sent an email to cruise passengers that provided an update of the cruise line's current status. It was a comprehensive update with over 2,600 words. One of the major updates was surrounding the crew. He said by the end of this month, they will have more than 97% of crew members back home. For those still on board, they have been treated to theme nights, great food, birthday celebrations, surprises and entertainment. This has been done to keep the crew's spirits high. A small number of crew are required on the ships for navigation, safety and maintenance and to get the ships ready for service. They have also taken the shutdown time to totally revamp the main dining room menus as well as adding some unique experiences to the speciality dining venues. That sounds really exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing those new uh, main dining room menus. Yeah, I suppose they've got the time in their hands so why not take the time to spruce things up and give it all a bit of a refresh. So let's take a look at our sponsor, Skillshare. We get so many questions about how we make our videos look really nice. Well, Skillshare offers thousands of classes covering all different types of topics. One class that we really like is the video editing, transforming footage into evocative travel stories by Oliver Astrologo. This is the perfect place to start. You'll learn how to create amazing travel videos that tell a story. You can even download and edit alongside Oliver throughout the class, which I actually find really handy and useful. It just makes it so much easier. Yeah. Just imagine creating your own vacation blockbusters. It's the perfect way to keep those precious memories you've made on all of your cruises. And during this damn time, it's seriously helped us to be more creative and relieve some of the boredom and stress. Yeah, it really has. We've been doing some of the more advanced classes to make our videos and photography even better. It's for everybody from beginners to pros. And because Skillshare is kindly sponsoring this video, the first 2,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a two month free trial of premium membership. It gives you unlimited access to all of the classes, which is pretty awesome. It really is. And if you want to continue your subscription, it's less than $10 a month 
making it super affordable. Just think of all the skills you could pick up in time for your next cruise. OK, back to the show. So let's take a look at that exciting news with the first major line sailing. So yes, the first major cruise ship has set sail for months after Covid in Germany. Our good friend Schiff's tester Matthias Moore, who also has a YouTube channel, check out his link in the description section below and give him a subscribe. Yeah. So let's take a look at that news then. Passengers on board, including Matthias, have provided us with a look at what it was like. So on Friday, the Mine Shift 2 by the TUI cruise line departed from Hamburg for its first post-COVID sailing. It was a three-night sailing to Norway, but it had no stops. It was just sea days on board with some amazing scenery. So let's take a look at what it was like on board. Well, first up, the capacity of the ship was capped at 60%. This is something all major cruise lines have said they're going to do. And because the ship is sailing at a reduced capacity, staterooms are used on a rotational basis. So on one sailing, a bunch of cabins are used, then on the next sailing, they won't be used, and so forth. Only rooms with a balcony are available for sale so that each passenger has access to fresh air. Dining on the ships has moved to a contactless system. This is really interesting. Rather than a traditional menu, guests will order via a QR code on their smartphones. This seems like such a great idea. After scanning a QR menu code, the menu is presented on your phone, then you make your selections there. But if you don't have a smartphone, there's no need to worry as traditional menus are still available. The buffet is open, but it's changed a bit from self-service to crew serving guests, so you pick what you want and then they hand it over. A few people have said that it slows things down a little bit, but they were more than happy with the process, which is good to hear. Now, face masks, do passengers need to wear them? Well, the answer is simple. It's a yes and a no. Whilst crew members wear them at all times, passengers are encouraged to wear them in situations where they cannot maintain social distancing. In bars, restaurants and public areas, tables and chairs have been separated to provide social distancing, while smaller areas have been blocked off by different signs. In other tight areas, like cabin aisles, where it's very tight and there isn't much room, masks are definitely required. As well as elevators, which are capped to four people in one elevator at a time. There are markings in each elevator, dividing them into four different squares, and you are required to stay in your own section whilst in the elevator. Each morning, every passenger must have their temperature checked via a thermal scan. This is really like a thermal camera, camera, so nobody pointing a gun at your head or anything, it's just a camera. Stations are located around the ship, so it can be done nice and quickly and efficiently. Most ship services are open, but capped at maximum capacities, such as a maximum of 20 people being allowed in the gym at one time, and 10 children allowed in the kids club at a time. It's basically a first come first served basis. But this is really fantastic news yeah. to see an actual major cruise line sailing. Yeah, really interesting there. Some of the ideas such as the QR code, nobody's really suggested before. And then obviously there's a lot of stuff we expected to see, such as social distancing and reduced capacities as well. But what do you think? Is this enough to keep you safe on cruise ships? Or do you think it's going too far? We'd love to hear what you think in the comments section below. Let us know, we'd love to read your comments. Now on to news from Carnival. They have sold two more cruise ships. This is on top of the 13 ships that they had previously said they would sell. This is to help maximize the company's liquidity. At the moment though, we don't know what these extra two ships are and we don't know which company within the Carnival brands they will come from. So it could be Carnival Cruises, Princess, Holland America or even several other companies. As part of the announcement, Carnival said that the Carnival Imagination and Carnival Fascination were being taken out of service for the foreseeable future. So this makes us think that it could possibly be these two ships, ships, sheeps, sheeps, ah, um, taking them out of service, you know, it's only really a step until they sell them. Yeah. In other Carnival Corporation news, there are rumours that they are looking to sell Cunard and the Seabron brands but they are denying that it's true. A Carnival spokesman said, there is no truth to this rumor. Cunard and Seaborn are iconic brands for our company and both lines have a strong track record of success over the years. This is a bit worrying, isn't it? But thankfully they've came out and said it's untrue, but where there's a rumor, there's always some truth, isn't there? Yeah. So fingers crossed this is untrue. 
So thank you for watching our episode this week. We hope you enjoyed it. We love to hear your opinion as well. So let us know in the comments section below. We love to hear from you. And a big thanks to all of our patrons as well. We give you loads of extra stuff like behind the scenes footages, exclusive live videos, as well as lots more. And our captain of the week is Martha. So ahoy there, Martha. Ahoy. And a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description section below to be one of the first 2000 people to get that extended trial. So that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.